Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm uh, fine. And you? <laughs> Very nice. Yes, happy to see you. Yes, and I see that the others are connecting in this moment. They are joining the class. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share with you the class presentation so you can see the topic for this evening class. Just give me one moment. Okay. So, what day is today? What day is today? Monday? Friday? Thursday. Oh, yes, it's Thursday. Thursday, February? Two. Two. Second. Second, because we use the original number. Second. Yes. Uh. February 2nd. Thursday, February 2nd of 2023 or 2023. Okay, the topic for this evening lesson is making invitations with wood. Okay, wood. ¿Ya habían visto esta palabra antes? Wood. Or oh, it's new. Is it new? No, teacher. Me gustaría, creo que. Ah, would you like? Yes, me gustaría, or I would like, me gustaría. Okay. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. So we can use wood to make an, to make an invitation. That's what we're going That's to do. Going... Fernando. Hi, teacher. Hi, partner. How are you doing? <laughs> Nice, How are you doing? Nice. I can hear myself. What? I hear myself. Maybe you need Maybe to. Maybe you need to. The speaker. The speaker. Oh. Please, please. Okay. 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 Agenda. Let's see, Braulio. Would you like to read the agenda? Um. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Uh, activity one, like and dislike. Activity two, an invitation. Activity three, where you like to go. Activity four, wrap up. Wrap up, yes, thank you. So we're going to continue practicing likes and dislikes. We're going to learn how to make invitations, the use of wood. That's the class for this evening. Well, we are going to start by taking attendance. Yes, Fernando? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, I am working yet. I can turn camera on. Okay, Fernando, it's okay. Well, let's. Please say present or hear when I mention your name. Alejandro Cartagena. Ana Garcia. Ana Elizabeth. Andrea Sánchez. Betania López. Braulio Heriberto. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Martínez. No se le escucha, Carlos. No, no, no le escuchamos. Está muy bajo. Sí, allá a lo lejos se le escucha un poquito. Ok, Claudia María García. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Claudia y Estenia Évora. Christopher Peña. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Christopher. Damaris Castellano. Present, teacher. Thank you, Damaris. Eh, Denis Gutierrez. Doribel Arelia Arriaza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Doribel. I'm sorry, Ali Antonio. <laughs> 
en Manuel Portales, en Neida Verónica. Present teacher. Thank you, Neida. Eric Daniel Herrera. Fernando Mendoza. I'm here, Miss. Okay. Irma Segura. Present. Thank you, Irma. Irma Suleima Grande. Present, teacher. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Fermeño. Present, teacher. Jacqueline. Janet Rosibel Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Janet. Jennifer Marisol Iraeta. Present teacher. Jessica Susana Menchón. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Jimmy Ramos. Okay, that's the people we have today and this evening. So, Let's make some questions about the use of like and dislike. Let's ask some questions. Okay, we have here the questions about likes and dislikes. And let's see, I'm gonna be asking you these questions, okay? You can copy them if you want in your notebook and you can answer the questions, but I will be asking different people in the class Okay. Ah, but before that, I will send you into breakout rooms. But estas preguntas las van a practicar con su compañero. Pueden anotar las respuestas. You can write the answers. Y luego les voy a preguntar sobre qué dijeron sus compañeros. Okay. So I will send it in the group. So you can have it, you can have it there. Okay? Si comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, Paulina? Eh, vamos a contestar las preguntas del cuadrito que usted nos enseñaba. Este, y las podemos anotar la de nuestros compañeros van a anotar la respuesta de sus, la suya y de su compañero porque después me van a decir ok, so let's go and practice with yourself okay. hello teacher Hello. Quería hablar con usted, fíjese que estoy hospitalizada. Eh, me he conectado por lo que me hablaron ahora de la de inglés, que me conectara siempre para no perder la, la el cupo, pero sí estoy un poco mal de salud, bastante mal. Vaya, entonces solo va a estar escuchando. Ok, teacher, porque desde ayer estoy... Desde ayer en la madrugada estoy hospitalizada. Ok, Jennifer, espero que se ponga mejor pronto. Sí, he agarrado una bacteria, la salmonella. Ah, oh, sí, lo sé. Se me ha ido al, al torrente sanguíneo, estoy un poco mal. Ok, sí, yo creo que anda dando eso con de alguien más que está ahorita enfermo también. Sí, es por Cuida, la... Me, mucho. Me, me ¿Puede poner...? Ah, puede estar ahí como oyente. Voy a asignar a alguien más para aquí. Pero usted puede estar escuchando. Ok, teacher, le aviso para no estar ahí contestando y no dejar mal al compañero. Está bien, no problem. Gracias, teacher. Jacqueline ya pudo, no ha podido unirse. Sí, a mí no me salió para unirme. Bueno. <risa> Estaba con Jennifer. Ah, va, entonces la voy a mover a otro grupo. Ok. Hello, Claudia, Janet, and Fernando. Hi. Hi, teacher. Teacher. Estamos oh, so esperando la pantalla. Fernando nos va a compartir la pantalla. Oh, nice. Gracias, Fer. Oh. Thank you, Fer. 
está. Comenzamos. Ok. Eh, una yo. Yo no ¿Ya? sé. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Comienzo yo. When do okay. you... When do you usually watch TV? Um, watch TV. Um, quiero ver, pero, pero permita que se me ha olvidado la palabra. Okay. When um, do you usually watch TV? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, only at the weekend? Um, I'm the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Uh, what kinds of programs do you like? What kinds? What kinds? What kinds, what kinds of programs? Program. Um, in the morning. Every night. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Vamos con la segunda, dice sí. What kind of programs do you like? What, uh -huh. what kind of programs do you like? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. eh, por ejemplo, a usted, ¿qué tipo de programas le gustan? En mi, este, mi Doctor House. Okay. I like Doctor House programs. Doctor House. Okay. Uh, uh, to me, uh, I like program uh, series. Hello. No. Okay, so now we can see the questions. Thank you, Jacqueline, for sharing. Okay. Let's practice the questions. Okay. I usually watch TV between one and two hours for day. One and two hours a day. In the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening? In the evening. In the evening, okay. General, vaya. After dinner, después de cena. Sería entonces, I usually watch TV after, after. Lo que pasa es que como en el inglés hay veces dijo la, o sea, como que reduce, vea, la pregunta, pero no se va a volver a, digamos, mm -hmm. a poner, pero yo creo que en este momento sí es momento de poner, yo usualmente veo la televisión después de cena. Creo que así tendría que ser la respuesta en inglés. Ajá, ajá. Vamos a ver. Sí, o si no, solo decir after dinner, vea. También. Mm, porque sí, ya está viendo de, como de, el contexto. Ajá, depende. I, uh -huh. I usually watch TV after dinner. Bien. Excelente, Aribel. That's great. Ah, thank you, teacher. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. Uh -huh. Vaya, aquí yo lo anoté, el, el, entonces el... Um, I know it's the... Um, how do you say it's the in English? Um, Así como esas que son solo de música y que solo cantan en música, como las de Disney, no sé cómo se llama. Singer. Las películas así como que solo música y bailan, eso no me gusta. 
mm, musicals. Ay, bueno, sí. You don't like musicals. Ah, sí. Yeah. I don't like musicals so much. <laughs> no. Ah, pues sí. And you? Um, quiero ver. Um, la de horror. Mm, it's not. Esa ficción tenemos. Fiction. Fiction. Sí. Fiction. Sería la última. Where do you like uh, science fiction? Yes, I like Avengers movie. Avengers. Avengers. Yes, yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Avengers. Yes, and I like Avengers. All about Marvel. Okay, ahora le voy a preguntar a usted. Uh -huh. uh, when do you usually watch TV? Um, when I when I watch TV, um, por algo más o menos quiero ver. Es que yo casi no veo televisión en el día. <laughs> En ningún momento. No, es que durante el día casi no. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Okay. okay. What kind of program do you like? I like you watch. Um, I like you watch. Who? Um, series. Okay, we're waiting for the other people to connect, to go back to the main session, to come back. <laughs> okay. So now, are you ready to answer about your classmate preferences, your classmate life in this life? Because I'm gonna ask you, for example, Jacqueline Fermenio, when do you usually watch TV? I usually watch only at night. And your classmate? Uh, creo que Cristian se llama. Dijo que era in the morning. This is for watching TV in the morning. Sí. Y la otra niña no recuerda cómo se llama. You don't remember. Creo que también dijo que eh, watch. Only at night. He watches TV at night. Okay. Let's see. Um, Christopher. No teacher. What kind of programs do you like? I don't hear teacher. You don't watch TV? Yes, yes, I watch TV. So what kinds of TV programs do you watch TV? Uh, actually, I see Shooter in Netflix. Oh, you watch series on Netflix, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Irma, Irma Sulaima, do you like reality shows? No, no. No, I I not. No, I don't. And no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> and your classmate? Um, igual. No, I don't. <laughs> your classmate doesn't like 
Yeah. Just made that connected. Okay. Let's see. The next person is Claudia Maria Garcia. Do you listen to the radio? Yes. Uh, I like uh, listening to your 102.9. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> And what about your classmates? Is your compañera? Does your classmate listen to the radio? Ah, one moment. Yes. Yes, he does? Yes, he so only. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Claudia. Uh, let's see, Doribel. Who's your favorite singer? Doribel? I cannot hear you, Doribel. Okay, try. A singer, el significado. What? Who's your favorite singer? Um, es que no, es, no ubico qué significa singer. ¿En quién es su cantante favorito? Um, Mark Anthony. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Janet Rosibel Rivas. Hi, teacher. Con la compañera no terminé. Ella me lo hizo a mí. Okay. What do you think of salsa? Es la primera pregunta. No, sí. Ah, do you like Eso es que si me gusta la música salsa, algo así. What do you think of salsa? ¿Qué piensa de la salsa? Um, I don't know, pero yes, I like. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. I like salsa music. I think it's uh, entertaining or relaxing or um, relaxing. relaxing. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see the other person. That is Irma Adriana. What kind of movies do you dislike? Do I you dislike mm -hmm. the horror movies. Okay. Yes, I dislike horror movies too. They are horrible. <laughs> Yes. Yes, okay. Mm, what kinds of movies do you dislike? Ah, okay, that's what you said. Uh, Jessica, Susana, do you like... Jessica, Susana, do you like... Jessica, Susana, do you like science fiction? Yes, I like it. Um, all about Avengers and Marvel Universe. Wow, that's my husband. He's a big fan of that. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you people for your participation. Now let's go over the next, which is a conversation between Dave and Susan. I need a volunteer to read the conversation with me. Let's see, volunteer or Vicky. If I don't have a volunteer, I will choose a Vicky. Irma Suleima. Um, okay, Irma Suleima, I am going three days and you will be Susan. Later, later we're going to have Claudia Maria. And I don't know who was the other person. Okay. Maris, Claudia Maria. Maris, I'm going to be there, and you will be Susan. Ready? Okay. Uh, it's me, David. 
Ah, or you can be Dave. If you want, you can be Dave. Usted, okay. you are Dave, and I will be Dave. Okay. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? To go? Thanks, I would love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have the new tea? Oh, I oh I I like to, but I have to work late. Um, that's okay. Let's just meet up the study before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's let's meet at gate at the gate. Okay, let's... that sounds fine. See you there. Okay. I was frozen. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And now, Claudia Maria, and who was the other person? Day. No. Claudia, and the other person was, King era el otro? I forgot. Damaris. Okay, Damaris. So, Claudia, you are Day, and Damaris is Susan. Okay. I have tickets to this social match. On Friday night, would you like to go? Dance. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around um, 7 30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. So as you notice in this conversation, they are uh, an invitation. What is the invitation? To the beach, to the park, to go to the beach, to go to the park, or to go to a soccer match. A so soccer perhaps, match. Exactly, it's an invitation to see the soccer match. Okay, and what is one of the, what is one name of the team? What is the name of one team? Okay. You can see the, the picture. What's the name of the soccer team? Golf Frogs. Frogs. Golf Frogs. Yes, that is the best soccer team, Frogs. Las ranitas. Las ranas. <laughs> the Frogs. Okay. So, as you notice here in the, in the conversation, we have an example of the invitation. It's in the first part, it says, it says here, would you like to go? Would you like to go? I, thanks, I love to. Um, I like to, but I have to work it. So over here we have the structure of the, the question to make an invitation. We use the auxiliary would, the subject like, an infinitive. And if to answer, we can say, I like it, or I like to do it, or I like to, or I love to. I is the contraction of I would. You can say, I would like to, but, or I would like it, thank you. But it's the contraction of this. This is the contraction, I or I would. So let's look at the more examples in the next slide. We have a, the, the auxiliary would, the verb plus the infinitive, which is the verb with two before. Would you like to go out on Friday? We have the, the answers, short answers and long answers. Yes, I would. 
Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Okay, the other question. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Mm -hmm. So in this case, this is accepting the invitation. When you accept the invitation, you say, yes, I'm good. Or yes, I like to, thanks. Or yes, I really like to go. This is accepting the invitation. But when you refuse, you say no to the invitation, you don't say directly, no, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't like it. No, I wouldn't like it. No, that is not. That is not. Teacher, more polite. Excuse me. Yes, Carla. Excuse me. Um, how do you say the contraction word? I'd. I'd. I. Yes, I'd like to. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Carla. Okay, now when you refuse or decline the invitation, would you like to go to a soccer match? No, dice de una sola vez, no, no me gustaría, porque eso sonaría muy pesado, very rude. You have to be more polite, and you can say, oh, I like to, but I have to work. You make up an excuse. You have to give a reason. I like to, but I need to save money, so thank you for the invitation, but maybe next time. I would like to, but I want to visit my parents this weekend. So maybe next weekend I can go with you. ¿Sí entendemos cómo usar el would you like? No muy claro. Yes. Vaya, lo utilizamos para hacer una. Invitación. Para invitar, cabal, para invitar. Y aquí hay maneras en cómo responder cuando aceptamos la invitación. Y aquí hay una manera de cómo responder cuando no aceptamos la invitación. Pero de forma educada decimos que no, no decimos directamente que no, sino que damos una excusa, exacto. We say, oh, me gustaría, pero tengo que trabajar, tengo que ahorrar dinero, quiero ir a visitar a mis papás, así que no puedo. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, I would. Yes, I would love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Ahora, háganme invitaciones. ¿A qué me invitarían? ¿Cómo me podrían invitar? Teacher, would you like to? I don't drink coffee. Would you like to drink coffee? <laughs> In this moment, maybe I need a cup of coffee. But instead of coffee, I would like to sleep. <laughs> Teacher, would you, Teacher, would you like to go for a, a walk? Oh, yes, I would love to. I love walking out. Would you like to go for a walk? Okay. I like that invitation. Another one? Would you like to go to cinema? Mm, I would love to, but I don't have time these days. I am have, I'm teaching classes in the evening, so I can't, I'm sorry. More invitations. Teacher, uh, would you like to go to uh, the play soccer? Would you like to play or to see? To play. Um, thank you, but... I can't play soccer. I'm not good at sports. <laughs> okay, teacher, teacher, would you like to go to the gyms? 
Would you like to go to? To, to the gym. Ah. To, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, any other one? Would you like? Ah, uh, good evening. Good evening, Jamie. Would you like to go to eat pupusas? Oh, yes, of course. Pupusas are my favorite food. <laughs> With pork and cheese. Yes. Would you, yes. hey teacher, would you like to go to eat pupusas after class? Let's meet at Los Planes de Ranteros. <laughs> okay. Los Planes de Ranteros. Yes, to eat pupusas. Los Planes de Ranteros. There are some more or less, but, but in the Puerto del Diablo, the there's better. There's better. I know a good place in the park, in the Balboa Park. Yes, in my boy park too. Yes. <laughs> okay, more invitations. Oh, I have. Would, mm -hmm. like, would you like to go to travel in the world? World. Would you like to travel? I have another one. Would you like to have the class in person? Would you like to have the class in person? ¿Les gustaría tener la clase en persona? Presencial. Yes, teacher. Yes. No, I don't. Yes, I would. Yes, I believe that is better. No, no, no. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> yes, you would. Okay. Yes, I will. Another one. Mm. Would you like to send me the homework? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, do, but I don't have that. I like to. Recuerden que la respuesta no es yes I do or no I don't. Como preguntamos con would, la respuesta tiene que ser con would. Okay. No, I wouldn't. Ajá, y en negativo, si decimos I wouldn't, suena bastante pesado, bien rudo. Normalmente cuando nos hacen una invitación, si es una invitación, podemos responder así, I would like to, but... Entonces decimos, me gustaría, pero damos una excusa. I would like to, but I have to work, I have to study. I have to visit my mother, etc. ¿Ok? Veamos en, en los siguientes ejercicios. ¿Hay más preguntas de cómo se usa el word? Or so far so good. So far so good. Do you have any questions? So no far questions? so good. So far so good. Okay. In the next slide, we have uh, three invitations and we have to respond with a affirmative or negative answer. The number one, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, nice. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. ¿Te gustaría venir a cenar mañana en la noche? Yes, I love. Yes, I love to. Okay. 
Uh, invitation number three. Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes, I would. <laughs> okay, I would love to, but I don't have time this weekend. I have many things to do. Just making an excuse. Now, in the other part, four, five, and six, you have to make the invitation. And we have the responses. Yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Well, I like to, but I have to study. Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. So, how, what invitations can you make? Mm hmm. Invitations. I have time to go to Cinemark. Would you like to go? Yes, I love to. Thank you. Would you like to go to the cinema? Okay, number five. Mm -hmm. Hello. Would you like to go mm, to the the play the football? The... Dale pues, Braulio. Would you like to go? Uh, mm, swing, ¿cómo se puede decir para como ir a una piscina, teacher? Okay, you can say, would you like to go swimming or would you like to go to the pools? Uh, swing. Would, ah, would okay, you like okay. to go to the pools or would you like to go swimming? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to, but I have to study. I have an exam tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Number six. Well, would you like to go for ice cream? <laughs> would you like to go yes. for an ice cream? Okay, but in this case, it says, yes, thank you. I really like to see it. Entonces, es una invitación a ver algo. Eh, would, would you like, like to watch TV? To go watch the movie. Okay, would you like to watch the new movie? Mm -hmm. Would you like to watch the new movie? Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. Okay, porque está hablando de ver algo. Estos ejercicios son los mismos que están en la plataforma. Así que, pues ya pueden ir avanzando en esta sección. E incluso más, ¿verdad? Pero si no habían avanzado porque no sabían sobre eh, cómo usar Wood, pues hoy ya saben cómo. ¿verdad? Y ya no tienen excusa para no avanzar en esta sección que se las van a revisar esta semana. Teacher, el detalle fue que la plataforma estuvo fallando casi que todo el día hoy. Por eso ah, no bueno. podemos. Ok, pero tomorrow then. You yes. can start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ok, now here, in this exercise, you are going to make a conversation. You're going to create a conversation. Making an invitation to a partner and then asking follow-up questions. La conversación que van a hacer y que van a crear cada uno individualmente en su cuaderno es similar a esta. Les voy, I will send you the picture. I will send you the picture so you can have it. No sé quién es Francesca. In the WhatsApp group. But uh, you're asking for the... Doribel. 
the answer for the exercise 4.4. No, teacher, es el nombre de la empresa de Doribel. Ok, thank you. Bye. Entonces, ¿van a hacer una conversación similar? Eh, vamos a ver aquí. El ejemplo, ¿qué preguntas van a hacer? Follow-up questions like, when is it? Where is it? What time does it start? Where should we meet? When does it end? How should we get there? ¿Cuándo es? ¿Dónde es? ¿A qué hora se empieza? ¿Dónde nos podemos reunir o ver? ¿A, ¿A qué hora termina? ¿O cuándo termina? ¿Y cómo, pues, cómo debemos llegar ahí? ¿O cómo podemos llegar allí? This is my example. I would like to go to the movies. There is a new movie I would like to see. Would you like to go with me? Estoy haciendo una invitación. When would you like to go? Me responden, ¿verdad? When would you like to go? ¿Cuándo te gustaría ir? What time does the movie start? ¿Qué hora se empieza la película? Which movie theater would you like to go? ¿A qué cine te entonces, cuando se hace una invitación, la otra persona le responde con otras preguntas. Y esas preguntas se llaman follow-up questions. Follow-up questions. Entonces, esto van a trabajar en, en crear esta conversación. ¿Sí? ¿Sí, sí comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, teacher, solo que, ¿verdad? Aquí tomando como en base la, como la imagen anterior, o sea, no es que sea igual, sino que como tomando como... Pueden ejemplo, tomar ¿verdad? como un modelo, sí, pero van a cambiar la invitación, no va a ser ir a ver a partido, sí, sí. si no puede ser una invitación a comer, una invitación a salir, una, I don't know, any invitation in English, would you like to? Okay, would you like to? Yes, I would like. I would love to. Okay, entonces so vamos a trabajar en esa conversación. Unos minutitos. <coughs> Okay, are you working in the conversation? Okay, how is that going? How is that conversation going? ¿Cómo va la conversación? ¿Ya escribieron la invitación? Yes. Okay, did you finish your conversation, Claudia Maria? No. Not yet. Okay. No. Bueno, chicos, pueden terminarla como tarea. Y pero antes de que ya so, tenemos poquitos minutos y antes de terminar la clase, sí me gustaría poder eh, hacer un repaso. Entonces, eh, ¿cuál es la estructura de making invitations with wood? 
¿Cuál es la pregunta que vamos a hacer? Words. Would you like? Would. Would you like to? Would you like to go? Would you like to? Y luego agrega un verbo. ¿Verdad? Agrega la actividad. Y el complemento. The complement. ¿Sí? No olvidemos eso. Would you like to? Plus the verb. Plus the complement. Would you like to eat pupusas? Would you like to eat a buffalo, a buffalo wing? <laughs> Would you like to dance with me? Would you like to watch the new Adam Sandler movie? Would you like to study English? <laughs> okay, so that is the structure. A ver, ¿y qué significa? What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Te Ah, would you like? Una invitación. ¿Te gustaría? ¿Te gustaría? Uh -huh. Would you like? Ok, entonces no tenemos preguntas con respecto a esto. No questions? No question, teacher. Ok, nice. Qué bueno, entonces. That's good. Veo que les quedó bastante claro. Es que si hacemos como lo que ha dicho, así sí lo tengo claro yo. Ok. Lo que cuesta es como crear las nuevas oraciones. O sea, ahí es donde uno como que medio se pierde. Tal vez la estructura no, porque ya indicó usted como mapa, pero como agregarle más ahí es donde me Sí, por bueno, eso caso... les he puesto a hacer la conversación, a que hagan la conversación, que le cambien la información, que agreguen sus propias ideas, que traten de pensar y hacer cómo diría esto, cómo diría esto, ¿verdad? Como aquí en mi ejemplo, I would like to go to the movies. There is a new movie I would like to see. Would you like to go with me? Uh -huh. And we'll say, yes, I'd love to. When would you like to go? Um, I would like to go tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. What time does the movie start? Well, it starts at 9 p.m. Mm, well, and which movie theater would you like to go? I would like to go to Cinepolis. Okay, so see you tomorrow. So you can make the conversation. This is just one example. You can use these follow-up questions. When is it? Where is it? What time does it start? Where should we meet? There is a new movie. Uh, sorry, when does it end? And how should we get there? Okay. <laughs> Muy bien. Okay, entonces termina la conversación y la envían la envían al grupo. Now, what did you learn in this class? ¿Qué aprendimos en esta clase? The fact is a uh, wood. Okay, we learned how to use wood to make an invitation. What do you need to practice more? ¿Qué necesitas practicar más? What do you need to practice more? You need to practice more uh... The conversation and enrich our vocabulary too. Exactly, to enrich. Read more words, more exactly. words, dictionary. <laughs> Very nice, thank you, Amy. You learn, you need to learn new words. And sometimes we learn some new words in the class. Did you learn new words today? Aprendí alguna palabra nueva hoy? Word. Yes. Eneida, okay, Eneida. Which yes. words did you learn? ¿Qué palabras aprendió? Which words 
words would you like would you like would you like exactly would you like okay thank you very nice thank you very much i'm sorry okay <laughs> I'm going to take the last attendance, so please say present or here. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, yeah. voy a empezar de abajo hacia arriba. Jimmy Ramos. Yeah. Jessica Susana. I'm here. Jennifer Iraeta. Present. Janet Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Janet. Jacqueline Rebecca Fermeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma Suleima Grande. Present teacher. You. Irma Adriana Segura. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Mendoza. Fernando? Well, but he, he was here. Eric Daniel Herrera. Present. Eneida Verónica. Present. Aquí. Okay. Emanuel Hernández. Portales, Emanuel Portales. Elisa Andoval. Present. Denis Eliseo Gutiérrez. Mm, don, eh, Maribel Arelí. Presente. Presente. Denis Gutiérrez. Damaris Isabel. Presente. Ok, Damaris. Christopher Peña. I'm here, teacher. Claudia Yesenia. Claudia María. Presente, teacher. Carlos Alberto. Presente, teacher. Braulio Heriberto. Present teacher. Ok. Betania López. Andrea Sánchez. Present teacher. Ana García. Teacher. Ana García. Ana Elizabeth García. Ana Elizabeth. Alejandro Jovel Cartagena. Present teacher. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Well, the, this was the class for this evening. Please rest well, have sweet dreams, and see you tomorrow. Teacher, I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. I see you Sí, sí, aquí lo puse. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.